Good morning. Welcome. Well, this is May Mental Awareness Health Health Aware Mental Health Awareness Month. Sorry. And why should we care? And that's because you are important. Your mind is important. Your mind is one of your greatest treasures. And so we are talking this month about tips to help develop a healthy mind. And yesterday we said to begin with the Lord Jesus Christ, that for building something, you need a strong foundation, a firm foundation, a healthy foundation. And so we said, begin by asking Jesus to be Lord of your mind, to show you the truth and help you move forward in mental health. And today, the tip is read a gospel. There's Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And my personal favorite is the Gospel of John. And so I'm encouraging you to read the Gospel of John. There's only 21 chapters. So if you begin and read one chapter a day, you will be finished by the end of the month. Now, of course, you could choose Luke. I love Luke. And Mark, Mark is the shortest, or you could choose Matthew, which is the longest. But I really encourage you to make a beginning. In life, we only move forward if we make a beginning. So I'm giving you a call to action to pick up a gospel about Jesus and read about his life, who he is. And I love John because it's not just a story of Jesus from the time he was 30 years old, but it's many of his words, beautiful words and prayers and just a, a man of character and strength who I deeply admire. And as you read, again, you can go back to tip number one and ask Jesus if these words are true that he will show you what is true and what is relevant for you so that you can begin to develop a healthy foundation and lead to a healthy mind where you make wise choices and your story begins to be joined with his beautiful story. So I just want to thank you for listening and for commenting. I love it when you interact with me and give comments. It encourages me when you hit one of the icons and you could share it with your friends, especially people you know who are struggling maybe with depression or fear or loneliness with grief. So again, I encourage you make a beginning and tomorrow I will be coming on for transformative Tuesday at 11 o'clock and I hope you join me and begin to see your own mind being transformed so that you stand with dignity and poise and are secure in who you are your true identity not an identity someone has po imposed on you or told you is yours but your true identity of who you were created to be. So God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.